Hello, how are you? We will continue today with this, which is better. Oh, I need to turn it anyway. So, hmm, let's travel to our camp. Maybe I can sell some stuff. I haven't sold the stuff. I haven't sold, so <laughs> haven't sold the stuff, so I can sell things. And I am having a snag, so it's crunchy. So you might hear me just doing the crunchy no noises. Let me go. You and your friends are formidable folk, indeed. Mm. Good. I'm sure. You I don't need this. 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 Not this. I don't need this thing. Is there any point here? No. Hmm. And to see if there's some things that maybe could be helpful to oh bring the block no. happens that I didn't do anything with these things. I need an enchantment, I guess. Enchantment? Yeah. Expert. get some some things here What's on your mind? Nothing.
I enjoy the nights at camp. The night always seems more peaceful to me, safer. It's just quieter, that's all. I know what you mean. We're not safe at night. Be other than we should be relatively safe. I feel the night grants us a reprieve from the troubles of the day. Silly, isn't it? The dogs will never sleep, and they lurk in the shadows. Mm. It's just pretty silly, yes. It's just not silly to seek moments to lay down your burdens. We're entitled to a little silliness now and then. I enjoy those nights when we stand guard together, talking to pass the time in those small hours. Well, I talk and you listen mostly. Sometimes I succumb and fall asleep and wake to find you still watchful. And I know you're watching out for me. I'd be a poor leader if one of you died about my watch. You never have to feel afraid of me. That's what friends do. Look out of each other. It would be nice if you stayed awake for a change. What I'm trying to say is, is that I trust you. I'm comfortable around you. I know you'll be there when I need you. You are our, our leader and my friend. And sometimes I think that maybe we could be more than that. Maker, look at me stumbling over my words like an ill-educated peasant girl. Some bard I am. I'm trying to help. You're cute when you're embarrassed. You're more than friends. I thought that was obvious. Yes, go do that before you embarrass yourself further. Don't change your subject. There isn't much more I can say. My feelings have been laid bare. You are very special to me. I feel some way in Amagran, you do too. I've always wanted us to be more than just friends. I really like you, Liliana. I wish we stay friends. Friends? Right. Friends. I... I see. Well, uh, I mean... <laughs> I can't imagine why we wouldn't stay friends. It's just less complicated this way. I make really warning to take comes first. There's someone else in my life. I'm so sorry. Yes, I... I understand. Completely. It's you and not me. I should go. The stars are out. For once it's clear night. Ah, oh, that's great. There is still beauty to be found in this world. So Go with her money so makes <laughs> It comforts me to know that the stars will remain untouched by the blight. That whatever happens down here, they will shine eternally. Their light undimmed. There is a story about that cluster of stars over there. Do you know it? Elindra and her soldier? <clears throat> I can say I've heard it. Tell me the story. I don't know many stories. A long time ago, there lived a fair maiden called Elindra. She had many suitors, but spurned them all, for she did not love them. One day, Elindra was sitting by her window in her father's castle, singing and dreaming, when her lovely voice caught the attention of a young soldier. Entranced by her song, the soldier drew near to Elindra's window. As their eyes met, he fell in love with her, and she with him. When Elindra told her father about the man she had chosen, he was furious. For Elindra was high-born, but her love nothing more than a common soldier. To keep them apart, he had Elindra imprisoned in the highest tower of his castle and sent her soldier to the wars. Alas, not a month had passed before news of the soldier's death reached Elindra. Alone in her tower, Elindra wept for her love and beseeched the guards to deliver her from this cruel world. So earnest was her plea that the gods themselves were moved. They gathered Elindra into their arms and lifted her high into the heavens, where she became a star. 
The gods also raised up the soul of Elindra's soldier love, and there he dwells, across the horizon from her. The band of stars between them is the river of Elindra's tears, cried for her lost love. They say that when Elindra has cried enough, she will be able to cross the river to be reunited with her soldier. And then we look at the stars the same way again. That's a beautiful story. The stars are not made of tears. Why do stories always end so badly? This story is one of my favorites. A tale of a love so great and so enduring that it defies death and moves the gods to action. Sometimes I ask myself, does such a love exist? Can it exist? It may exist, but it never lasts. If we lose hope in love, then we are truly lost. Few loves are so powerful. Real love is a mix of lust and attachment, nothing more. I never expected you to say that. It is a pleasant surprise. But it's a surprise. Don't tell the others I said that. I'm secretly terribly romantic. I have to say there is a certain severity to you. Finding a person behind that all is nice. Maybe you should let your softer side show more often. Sometimes following your heart, not your head, leads you to remarkable places. Thank you, Liliana. Something else? You love Alistair. I think I do. I'm sorry. I don't know what, what, oh, I don't know that it's love, really. What is to you? But you've said such things to me. Why the lies? Have you been playing with my feelings? I care for you both. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Of course not. What about Alistair, then? What are you doing to him? He adores you. Don't make me choose between you. I should end it with Alistair before it goes too far. I know. And I think he's better for me. See that? Well, again. I, I am sorry I had to force this on you. I couldn't stand by any longer wondering if I meant anything to you. You meant everything to me. I'm sorry. I had to come this way. I hope no one is hurt by my decision. So do I. I would hate to be the cause of anyone's pain. We should talk later. Hmm. I need to know what's going on between you and Zevran. You said what happened between you two was nothing, but it's gone further, hasn't it? I've seen the knowing glances he shoots at you. What's all that about? I don't know if I can trust you, if I can trust the things you've said to me. What am I to you? I'm sorry, I shouldn't have lied to you. I care for you deeply, Liliana. That girl that tags along and is useful sometimes? You're going to make me choose, aren't you? Is that so wrong? I just want to know where I stand. You're very special to me. But if you don't feel the same... Please tell me now. Uh. Hmm. I should have ended seven hours ago. I don't feel the same. Sorry. I don't want to lose you seven hours over. It's been fun. I'm going to seven. I just I just told her that I want to be her friend. I don't know why he's going about this. I... I see. That's your choice then. I understand. Excuse me. I have to be alone for a while. I'm sorry, but... For real? Lidiana. Friendly? Yeah. Let me just give her, her gifts. Whatever, whatever it is. There we go. Oh, how dear of you. Thank you so There we go. I'm so sorry, Liliana, but you got it all wrong. He is quite a character, your Zevran, no? 
What do you mean by that? Sunderland is not mine by any stretch of the imagination. The imagination. He's interesting and fine to be with. He owes you his life. That debt alone makes him beholden to you. And that's saying nothing of your um, entanglement. Mm. Well, I suppose that does sort of make him mine. Anyway, what are you going to say? He's not my elder slave or anything, so don't get ideas. Oh. He seems to seek pleasure above all things. But there is more to him, isn't there? He is more complex than he lets on. Have you been watching him? Yes, that's true. What's so fascinated with Severin? I feel that it is in my interest to study those I travel with. And Zevran deserves special scrutiny, seeing that he tried to kill you. But it seems you trust him, judging from your closeness. If you do, then I do too. You haven't led us astray yet. That aside, you do have good taste. He's an attractive one. I'm sure he wouldn't be opposed to your joining in the fun. <laughs> I really like him myself. He's been claimed, my apologies. Uh, thanks for the offer, but I don't think my delicate health could take too much excitement. Okay. I know that look. You have something on your mind, don't you? We need to talk. Of course. I'm sorry I had to wait it. Don't apologize. It is something you felt you needed to do. I cannot question that. And life goes on, yes? I'll be alright. Come, let's move on. I know that look. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's talk to Alistair. Because I have a gift for him. So, let me ask you something. A personal question. What kind of personal question? Are you sure this is an appropriate, appropriate time? This isn't another joke, is it? I'm, I'm wondering about... Well, about Zevran, really. It seems like the two of you have become quite friendly. Why are you asking? I suppose we have. You are in shadows, are you? Yes, that's right, we're in love. I, I'm just curious, maybe it's inappropriate of me to ask, but what are your intentions towards him? Is it very serious? If you'll tell me that. You might be, I haven't said it yet. Yes, it is serious, I love him. It's none of the business, is it? No, it's not serious. I just enjoy Seven's company. Ah, uh, I, I was under the impression that the two of you were romantically involved. I, I would have said something sooner, but I, I didn't know how to put it without sounding, you know, jealous. So, now that I've got that off my chest, let me ask something else. Do you have any feelings towards me? You tell me first. I've come to care great to you. Ah, oh, sorry, sorry. I've come to care for you a great deal. We're friends at this time, nothing more. I feel nothing for you. We need to end this because he's going to go with Anora, so... I see. Well, there's nothing more to discuss, is there? I'll just wander off and swallow my foot. Maybe both of them. Excuse me. I'm sorry, I lost her. Oh! 20 left! No, 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 20 left. Come back. <laughs> is, is there that the, he could be uh, less? Uh, hmm. Because he was going to say, I love you. Hmm. But I need to talk to him anyway. There's so, a, a, let me okay, ask you something. Kind of person. I'm, I'm wondering about... Well, about Zevran, really. You are unchosen. It seems okay. like... No, no. I'm not jealous. I, I'm just curious. Maybe it's inappropriate of me to ask, but... What are your intentions towards him? Is it very serious? 
Ah, I, I was under the impression that the... So, now that I've got that off my chest, let me ask Okay, I've come. I'd hoped that was the case. That... That wasn't too soon, was it? No, not really. Yes, definitely too soon for that. I don't know, I need more... Destined to be sure. Hmm. Well, I'll have... What about Zevran? I don't like the idea of leading him on. Tell me, Miss I, between you, Alistair. You're not leading him on. You're right, my decision has been made. I choose you. I'm not going to lose him, I'm sorry. If you can't, then... then that is your decision. <sighs> I can't do it. Ah, I'm very happy for you both. Let's... Okay, minute one is okay. Because he's going to marry Anora, and I don't want to be like... Uh, he the walls. Well, what is that? It's friendly. Okay, let me have him... The... Oh, let me here. There we go. Uh, Duncan's shield. This, this shield? It's Duncan's, isn't it? That's his crest. Don't thank me all at once. I thought my... I'm oh, sorry. I thought maybe you might want it. Just don't stop crying or anything, right? Thank you. Truly, I had no idea his shield wasn't with him. This is perfect. I, I don't know how else to express my gratitude. This means a great deal to me. I can't believe you remembered it at all. Of course I remembered. Just take it and let's go. I'll treasure this. Thank you. Okay. Oh, he needs more strength. Okay. Ask away. Of I course. Questions, never mind. Okay. Let's have fun with Severin. Let's go with Wayne. What's on your mind? I will answer. No. Okay. Ogren, you need to say something. Hey, Warren. You gotta hear this one. This human walks into a tavern, and there's an elf there, and she says... <laughs> and she says... <laughs> and then what? Spit it out, Ogun. I don't have time for the joke. For jokes. She says, I don't... She cannot, he cannot say the joke. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ass chaps. <laughs> okay, that was weird. Ass chaps. <laughs> what is your wish, Kadan? I have some questions. I am hardly surprised. Do you find for another? To put it like. No one has a place here. Actually, never mind. Well. Speak then. Dimension. Then I suggest we move on. Let's go. As you look so tired, my dear. It's all this constant walking and fighting. I think I know what you need. Oh. This is. This I have to hear. A horse? A good night rest, maybe? But I doubt you can get it to me. My thought is this. We retire to your tent and I show you the sort of massage skills that one only learns growing up in an Antivan whorehouse. That sounds good to me. You must be joking. Are you suggesting what I think you are? A willing victim it is. And if I might ask if the opportunity to proceed past the massage should present itself, I leave that up to you. You won't ever trust me. Let's not go there, shall we? I'm not 
I'm sure I think of something. Then why are we still talking? I knew this would happen eventually. I should have warned you right from the moment you refused to kill me. It was inevitable. You're practically a public manners. Here I thought I seduced you. Too bad he wasn't more enjoyable then. We should probably talk. Uh, we should probably talk. Maybe. Oh. It's true. They used to issue warnings about me at the Antiven border. Ah, the good old days. So then, as the priestess so famously said to the handsome actor, what now? How do I know this isn't part of your plan? I was about to ask you the same thing. Now we go as before. Was this a wanton? Th was this a wanton thing? This can happen again. Mm, this is true. Seducing the assassination target is a sound tactical choice. Do you know there are poisons that I can ingest which would be harmless to me and yet be already killing you as we speak? I'm serious. Is that a deni denial? I can tell. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have brought that up. As am I. It is a very serious business. Allow me to say this. I am no longer in the business of attempting to kill you. Not only would it gain me little at this point, it also happens to be incredibly hard. But even so, is it not a little late for such suspicions? The die is cast, so to speak. And cast rather well, I might add. You're right, I guess it's too late. You can accept that it's gonna happen again. So, what does this mean then? Does this change anything? Allow me to make it simple for you, my Grey Warden. What comes next is entirely up to you. I was raised to take my pleasures where they could be found, for they do not come very often. I shall ask nothing more of you than you are willing to give. Hmm. So easy come, easy go. And what about love? That sounds fun to me. I think it's best to end this here. I was born of a whore and bred as an assassin. All I know is of pleasure and death. What room is there on these things for love? Huh? At any rate, we should be on our way. A new day awaits us. Or so the rumor goes. Hmm. Okay. You wish to talk? Ah, good. I have a question for you. How well versed are you in poetry? Antiven poetry, specifically. I know nothing of poetry. Is that your question? I know a good poem when I hear it. I don't really have the time for this. <laughs> well, trust me then. You won't be hearing it now. It was recited to me, as I recall, by a rather wealthy target of mine. Let's see. Uh, <clears throat> the symphony I see in the... It whispers songs to me. Songs of hot breath upon my neck. Songs of soft sighs by my head. Songs of nails upon my back. Songs of thee come to my bed. Oh dear. What is that? Some poetry. It was not told to you by a target. This is cringe worthy at best. 
Mm. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. I couldn't believe that she thought this would actually convince me to spare her. <laughs> I had sex with her anyway, but that goes without saying. She still had to die. The poem was amusing at the time, however, and thus I've always remembered it. And why are you telling me, telling it to me? So you thought to seduce me with it? You killed her anyway? Here I thought you might be chilled up by some naughty poetry. You simply look so unhappy. Such an unflattering expression for such a lovely face. Hmm. Hmm. You think I'm lovely, do you? I don't feel unhappy. This isn't the best times, you know. I appreciate the effort to both of them. Ah, who wouldn't? You're the kind of woman that stalks the lust in men and other women alike. <laughs> Surely you know this and are playing with me. Me, I tend to make the best of whatever situation I find myself in, stealing what moments I can. It's served me well most days. You might learn to do the same. I think I do the same actually. I keep that in mind. Served too well. Don't be an idiot. Thanks for the patronizing suggestion. Oh, then I learn something new about you every day. Enough poetry, I think. The time has come for traveling and the murdering of villains and whatever else passes for adventuring these days. Okay. Here, it seems an appropriate moment to give you this. Is that an earring? You don't need to give me anything. Oh, would that mean we are married in Tico? I acquired it on my very first job for the Crows. A Ravenian merchant prince, and he was wearing a single jeweled earring when I killed him. In fact, that's about all he was wearing. I thought it was beautiful and took it to mark the occasion. I've kept it since, and I'd like you to have it. I don't want it, really. Is this a bit out of the blue, is it? Isn't it? Thank you, Severn. It's so beautiful. Don't get the wrong idea about it. You killed Talison. As far as the crows will be concerned, I died with him. That means I'm free, at least for now. Feel free to sell it or wear it, whatever you like. It's really the least I could give you in return. So, now you took an affection then. It's a reward for helping you. No, just keep it then. Thank you, I appreciate it. It's meant a lot to me, but so have so has what you've done. Thank you. I, I have no better way to say it. No, thank you, Zebra. I did not thank you. It occurs to me now that you have freed me from the crows, and yet I did not think to thank you for it. No matter why you did it, it still it was done, and I the benefactor. So, thank you. You're welcome. Be friends, Zebra. I was glad to do it. It was... It was done time. There is no need. You say that so quickly, and yet it is an odd thing for me to hear. In the Crows, we do not have friends, and yet here you are, and I cannot help but consider you such. I consider you a friend as well. We're not really friends. I, I did what I had to. That's it. I think I think of you as more than a friend. I must admit that I have thought of you in the same way. I simply had no idea you might feel the same. How very novel. Well, now that that moment's over with, shall we return to the road? Probably so, is um, love now. We need to do something. I, I wanted to show you um, different possibilities in the game. I didn't do the mm, the Lianas. I have no idea what she has, but I wanted to. I want you to know about Severn. I am yours. Okay, <laughs> I'm yours. Okay. If they're dirty ones, certainly. Let's okay, so move on. Okay. I am yours. I want to discuss a Again? I'm game. 
it's a German man 10. I want you to I want you to leave and never mind. Okay. Nothing else. Oh, come on. There we go. Maybe I need um <laughs> I will do this off camera actually, I won't do this now. Is to get the best things for them and level them up. I would do that off camera. That would be much better. So now Okay, that was Yes. Yes, indeed. I got stuck. Okay. Hmm, maybe I didn't go anywhere. Hmm. We need to go somewhere, I guess. But where? Well, we, I want to go to... Uh, let's go to the Presidio now, okay. There we go. There's an elephant. Is this? Oh, never mind. I stopped. My friend, look, everyone. It's our Grey Warden associate. Do you have business with me? I'm here to kill you. No business for now. Hmm. I suppose my father got to you. Did he tell you about honor and integrity? About my evil plans to conquer the guild? His beliefs are outdated and destructive. Since I put my plans in place, this guild has blossomed. We are better funded and better equipped than ever. You were part of that. Stopping his supply chains, bribing nobles in Denerim. Take pride, my friend. We are remaking the Irregulars into a political force. You have a point. You have to die. How much your, li your life worth to you? I don't want to be part of this. You have a point. No yes. sense in sending you back after my father. He'll be well hidden by now. I suggest that this be the last of our business together, my friend. Come, man. Let's see about tracking the old man down. Mm. No, I want to kill him. <laughs> I want to kill him. I thought that it would be something else after that. There are some things I don't remember, okay. <laughs> so let's, let's go this fast. Do you have business? Yeah. You were part of that. You have to die. You're entitled to your opinion, but I think my men might disagree with you. Men! To me! Okay. <laughs>
probably I can choose to return to that room. Yes. No. Okay. Hmm, I'm going to buy a fruit. So I can make more... We are working hard to make enough... Working hard to make an I am no mer So the next video basically will be um, said also mm, we have a fight maybe we have merchant mm, it's the merchant do you have something else you have fine weapon and arms war of it Merchant, yeah. Okay, so I need to talk to regulars. We need to talk to the regulars. <laughs> there we go. Your efforts are greatly appreciated. Thank you. Something else? No. Okay. So, well, I will leave this game here, but next time you will see me going to near Otto's, um, the orphanage, so you, you will have the same layout. But yes, well, thank you a lot for watching this, and I hope to see you next video.